Hi! Um, today I am going to be doing the iodine clock reaction and essentially I'm going to mix two clear solutions and it is going to create a colored um, change. I This might take a while um, to get all my things together but first we're going to start with solution A which is going to be vitamin C um, about 4,000 milligrams or 4 grams um, iodine and then distilled water so i measured four milligrams on my scale over here um but first i'm going to do 60 milliliters of water and unfortunately i don't have a smaller measuring cup right here so i'm totally going to eyeball i also don't have distilled water so we oh i'm just making a mess All right, so there's water, and then I have my vitamin C over here. We're just gonna add that. I just wanna get rid of all that water because that pour was terrible. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this together. And then I'm going to add in the iodine. Um, in the video, he did heat it up to help kind of dissolve um, all the vitamin C. I don't know if I'm gonna have to do that or he did filter it to get like a clear solution. I have coffee filters right here. Um, I'm also worried that this experiment might take a while and I want to make sure it's under 10 minutes. So that looks pretty clear to me. Uh, Maybe. <laughs> it was actually solution B that he heated up. So sorry about that. Um, and then I'm going to add, looks like I have 2% iodine. I don't know. I didn't, I should have got two of these. I only have one. So I'm wondering if I should split this in half. I'm gonna pour a little out. I'm worried. I don't know if I'm doing great science right now. So I'm gonna add this whole thing in. Oh, there you go. It changed colors. Um, and this is because the Iodine I2 um, when it mixed with vitamin C changes into iodide, which is I minus, um, which is the colorless um, form of iodide. And then um, iodine was that dark color that we saw. Okay, so I have a clear solution. I'm going to put that to the side because I spilled some out. I may have this next solution. Um, but first, a, we're gonna pour into here. And I'm gonna set this off to the left of my screen. Smells like my work. We clean a lot of, or we prep a lot of patients with iodine. Okay, so then solution B is gonna be about 0 0.4 grams of cornstarch um, mixed with about 150 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. So I'm gonna pour in that and then we're gonna add water. I'm wondering if I should have this solution. Okay, so 150. Then they told me to eyeball cornstarch. Looked like it was like the tip of a spoon. I'm gonna have so much leftover cornstarch with nothing to do with it. Gonna have to make some sauces. Just made a terrible mess on my sink. We're gonna use about that much. Drop it in here. I'm gonna stir that. 
Now this one he heated and filtered. I'll try to do that, I guess. Hydrogen peroxide last. I wasn't sure if it was safe to microwave hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna add, I'm so sorry, 350 milliliters of water first, then the cornstarch, trying to stir that, heat it up, and then I'm gonna add the hydrogen peroxide. My bad. So I'm pouring 350 milliliters of water over here. Then we're gonna add the cornstarch in. I need to hurry up. Okay, so I'm gonna heat this one up. Okay, and while that's heating up, um, talk about what is going to happen when I mix these two clear solutions or what I hope happens. Um, so solution A, which we already mixed up here, consists of vitamin C and iodide ions. And then solution B is going to consist of hydrogen peroxide and starch. Um, and when I mixed these multiple reactions together, so solution A and then solution B that we're preparing right now, um, there's going to be multiple reactions that take place. The first one, like I mentioned earlier, is the iodine mixed with vitamin C. Um, it forms, or I2 is converted to I minus, which is iodide, plus two ac acidic protons. Um, so essentially vitamin C is reducing iodine. And then the second reaction is um, hydrogen peroxide mixed with the iodide ions um, is going to produce water and iodine again, which would um, kind of form, or hydrogen peroxide is oxidizing iodide. So eventually the vitamin C is going to be consumed um, because of the presence of the excess hydrogen peroxide. Um, so then I2 starts to accumulate, which then um, I2 combines with the I minus, so iodine combines with the iodide um, to form triiodide complex which is going to be, um, and they form this complex with starch, sorry, which is gonna um, form kind of hopefully a blue solution. So I'm hoping that heating this up kind of increases the reaction rate. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna get a coffee filter. I have one minute. Of course, my fingernails are short, so we're gonna get a few. Shove them into this cup and try to pour this solution in here. I'm a wreck. I don't know how to make this clear. <laughs> or how to get these to stay. Maybe I do this. This seems like a disaster waiting to happen. I 
I don't think any of this is going through. Filter, 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 filter. Okay, so it is getting clear. Sorry, I'm over the time. This is kind of a time consuming experiment. Dripping through. And this is again just the water and the cornstarch. I still unfortunately kind of have to, uh... oh, I'm making such a mess. Um, add the hydrogen peroxide and then run this experiment. And then because I just did that, it's not clear. time's already over I'm just gonna add the hydrogen peroxide so I'm gonna add I believe to like the 500 line this doesn't seem right mixing this solution it's not totally clear but we're gonna try it so I'm gonna this is B this is a I'm on a time constraint I apologize just gonna mix these So far, nothing's happening. And I might just have a failure. didn't work I apologize um I'm assuming it's because I did not have enough iodine um for that solution a and then I didn't make the other thing clear I mean this turned this turned the color we were looking for and now this is turning the color that we're looking for so not a complete failure I think I just had the wrong ratios of everything um so I know if I added more of the iodide um, ions or the hydrogen peroxide, it would have probably made the reaction happen faster. A little concerned because my elbow's wet. My paper just turned black. Um, so there is that. Um, I'm sorry that was a little chaotic, but yeah, thank you.